Welcome back to po Pocket Mirror. I don't have much time left to record tonight because other people have to sleep and my voice going through the walls is probably not going to help them do that. But we're at the Queen's... Oh, there's, they're serving a pumpkin? That's a bit cruel considering the pumpkins are people. So I'm sitting down. Thank you, chair. Are we playing musical chairs? Oh, it's the doll from before. That was the... Wait a minute. Remember how I said that looked like an anime pope? That drawing from the first episode that the doll, I th assume, made? That's her. That was her. Good evening, everyone, and thank you... Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for attending my welcoming dinner party. Right. We shall celebrate our guest's arrival with a toast. We're Eagliette, Papa Regina. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm gonna call her Eagliette because I think that might be her name. Bring in the desserts. She's looking at me. And who might you be? Uh, I'm silence. What might you be doing here? Um, I silence. There's only one way to know. Answer correctly and you may stay, but dare get it wrong and everyone knows what will happen. Wait, please, I... Shush! Tell me, little girl, what will be my order at tonight's dinner party? Well... Okay, the Queen's favorite is... Queen... Menu. Royal Apple Strudel. Queen's favorite cookie cups. The cookie cups, I assume. She has a very Queen of Hearts, off with your head feel. So, which one is it? I think it's... Oh! Did I get it right? I see you're not as ignorant as you look! Thank you all for attending my special dinner party. I expect to, all, oh, to see you all at tonight's dancing party. And as for you, my child, you are invited as well. I shall certainly enjoy such a smart girl's presence at my special event. Thank you. I shall now take my leave. This is the... M I keep on saying that it's Wonderland-esque, but it's the... M Wonderland is the closest thing that I can compare it to. They're all mad. They're all insane. What? Do I'm just going to talk to the pumpkins again. Get away from me. I can't sleep like this. Shut up. You're the one who's too close. Will you guys ever get along? I wish I could have been part of the party. It's a shame I was placed facing the wall. Queen Eagliette sure is pretty. Too bad I'll never have a chance with her. Oh. You're a pumpkin and you are romantically attracted to a small doll. Did you know Queen Eagliette put this candle next to me because she knows I get chilly really fast? Isn't she nice? I see, she really is nice. I doubt that. Queen Eagliette looked really pretty as always. I'm going to see if I can follow her out. That's shaking, I'm gonna look at it last. Aren't you lucky? You even got invited to the Queen's party. I wish I could go too. I'd be willing to carry you if you went the size of my head. But yeah, the food all went to darkness. The once colorful cookie cups have fallen apart, revealing a black, slimy filling. Oh, the once glossy cream has turned into a black mat mat mate mixture? I don't know what that means. I love the fantasy aspects that this is presenting. And actually, since they, they all showed up, and it was a really quick meal, and then they all left... That actually reminds me of a book I really like, that I read when I was really young, and it sort of, uh, basically it's on a train where things just keep on happening, and it's just the meals placed in front of you, then whipped away, and then meals just go by like that, and then there's a dance party, and then it's off to bed, and then, like, you go to sleep, and then it feels like you've just closed your eyes, and then you've opened them again, and someone's on, like, breakfast, and all that. 
And the thing is, the main character decides, no, I'm not going to sleep. And yeah, they literally were just closing their eyes. They go to bed and someone immediately comes in and it's the next day. Okay, that's a direct reference to Wonderland. For now, since up until now, it just had a very Wonderland-esque feel. But now I'm getting vials of liquid that say, drink me. So, yeah, that's... Oh, there's roses. Am I going to paint the... Ro Did I paint them the roses red? I can't fit through the door. Oh my goodness, this is a direct reference to Alice in Wonderland. Messer und Gabel. What just happened? Good thing to fix clothes as well, otherwise you'd be in a bit of a predicament right now. Everything got bigger. Or you just got smaller. The door disappeared. Now I'm the size of everything else. Are these candles? They're floating upside down. Floating backwards, their flames only millimeters away from burning the ground. Right. This isn't upsetting. Not not upsetting, but this isn't weird at all. It's not upsetting. This is actually one of the nicest rooms I've been in. Oh, whoops. Uh, what is that? Okay, then. <laughs> Splat! Hello? Is this the Queen's dance party? Because I saw a fox and a bunny dancing up there. Where am I? What on earth is happening? We're all trying our best to please Queen Eagliette. Hopefully one of us will be chosen as the best dancing couple of the night. I wish you all good luck. Thank you, miss. Practicing for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, miss? <laughs> Wonderful, you two look very elegant. Why, thank you very much. Move out of the way, you're pestering us. I'm so sorry. Oh, and the musical instruments are playing themselves. Okay, I walked through them. Um, talk, speak. Would you like to come dance with us? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to dance. Dance. That's a shame. Uh, I, after seeing the food before, I'm a bit cautious here. The queen filled me up with punch. Isn't that hilarious? Are you feeling all right? All right? Did you ask me if I was doing all right? I've never felt this free in my entire life. I swear I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's not do that. Please throw me out the window. I want to be as free as a dove. Uh, I won't throw you out the window. Sorry, buddy. Looks like some pumpkins did get invited, though. These are so pretty. I've never seen I've never seen floating pink candles before. Why are you sitting over there? What did you say? I can't hear you from here. I'm asking you why you're sitting so far away from me. You're asking me if I want to go practice skiing? No, you pumpkin hat. I'm asking you why you're sitting over there and not over here. No, I don't like my beef rare and on medium heat. I like mine well done. Never mind. He's hopeless. It sure is a nice party, isn't it? Oh, to be a pumpkin. Why do I sound so wistful? I don't want to be a pumpkin. Uh, who are you? The severed head of a plush toy fox. Yeah, see... It's still disturbing. Is that how you're dressed for Queen Eagliette's dancing party? Pfft. These are the only clothes I have. Arguably, that looks very nice. The severed head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he alright? Yes, I'm alright, thank you, miss. Ah, oh, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? You don't have a body. It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If it's alright with you. Take a seat, then. This might be take a little while. Yes. In the past, Miss Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the Queen's favourite couple, and we would dance for her every day. Because we were the star of the dance party, we, we were even invited to dance for Queen Eagliette's most precious friend. Next thing we knew, everyone had become jealous, even envious of our talent. I see. 
One night, after one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently, we were too perfect and didn't leave them any chances to be recognized by the Queen. That's the excuse they used to rip our bodies apart. They hid our limbs, leaving only our heads behind so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. Indeed it is. Is there any way I can help you? I believe there isn't much you could do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could, but how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please let me help you out. You are a truly kind maid lady, miss. May I know your name? I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. But I'll definitely help you and Miss Fox. Thank you, miss. Please, if you run into her by any chance, please do tell her everything is going to be alright. You can leave that to me. So that's the head over here. No, not the pumpkin, the uh, other one. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. Right. Let's, let's go up and talk to the instruments. It's like someone's playing the harp. The bows are moving on their own. It's just like the piano we had at home. I acquired some pumpkin charms. What's this? You, you, U.N. Owen has her. Who is U.N. Owen? My dream is to become a famous pianist. Do you think I could do it? Yes, definitely. I can't wait until I get famous. It's a mirror. I still can't see my own reflection. The door is locked. So this is the dance party, huh? Wonder, are these doors locked? No, they're not. I need your help, desperately! Yes, how can I help you? She's becoming a lot more comfortable with this world. You see, last Tuesday I won the kingdom's lottery and the queen gave me a shiny coin to use on the machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the whole coin behind my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, that's it's the one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Acquired a shiny coin. A strange box is stored in a corner containing various colorful balls inside it. So I'll use the coin on the machine. Can I use it on the machine? Insert coin. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Acquired a fancy ribbon. Ah, oh, it's a ribbon. A ribbon? It's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. I can't use my ribbon. I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't claim my prize after all. Yes, you can. There, see? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does? There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. He looks so fabulous! That's the thumbnail. Definitely. Definitely that's the thumbnail. <laughs> See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. Don't tell anyone that you can't be fabulous wearing a ribbon just because you're a boy pumpkin. So there's these things here. What are you doing, Mr. Pumpkin? Ringmaster. He's not just any pumpkin, he's Ringmaster. Great surprises await you in this room! Great surprises await you in this room, I see. This box is locked shut. This box is locked shut. So is this one. So is this. Oh, wait. Open. Clown. Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? Okay. All right. Tell me the answer to this neck riddle and you will be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes. At his own funeral, did Matthias see gathered by the grave his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother? At his own funeral, did Matthias see gathered by his open grave his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother? What is that? Is that even a question? What 
does that what does that mean? Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever, for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right, and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times, and there won't be a fourth chance. Should any questions arise or hesitate to ask me, the ringmaster I am, standing here to serve thee. I changed his voice because it rhymes better. His own funeral did Matthias see. Oops, you got it wrong. What? There certainly wasn't three. There was five. Oh, the boxes have numbers on them. Be careful now. Be careful now, little girl. Wait, no, there was six, because Matthias counts. You're rather smart, aren't you? No, I'm not. I didn't even understand that at the, qu the rest of the riddle was asking how many people were at Matthias' funeral, because I didn't even realize that the boxes had numbers on them. You're rather smart, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. Three times did Mar Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? What? Stop being so concited. It's not that complicated. Aren't you thinking a little too hard? Stop being so concited. It's not that complicated. But if I get this wrong again, I'm gonna die. Um... I saved down there, though, didn't I? So it should be fine. If I just mess it up, I can come back. Too bad, see you in another life. I was stabbed by a clown. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, did I... Oh, do I have to do the stuff with the pumpkin again? Oh no, he's already happy. Okay. I wonder if it's the same riddle. Okay, yes, family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Right, so that'd be six. You're rather smart, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. Three times did Mar Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? That would be six. Oops, you got it wrong, so it's not seven. Correct! Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. The queen is a short little doll. Yellow. What's yellow, blue, red, and green? A rainbow. A rainbow is yellow, blue, red, and green. And no one can reach the end of a rainbow. So, but where is there a rainbow in this room? I may have the wrong solution to that riddle. Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever, for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and... I hate those despicable green midgets. Yeah, he's talking about leprechauns. It's a rainbow. R-A-I-N-B-O-W. There are seven letters in rainbow, so do I... Box seven? I'm impressed! Oh, hey! Here's the next riddle. Katharina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September. One in mysterious as the moon, the other cursed with a short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Katrina was half her age. Years have passed filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years I w would I be her eldest had she lived another tomorrow? What? I might have to write this down. I am a fan of these riddles, though. I do like them. So. Both were born on the 12th of September, but it's probably different years. On the day Valentina turned two, Katrina was Katharina was half her age. Years have passed, turned with turmoil and rage. So, 
when Valentina, when Valentina equals two, Katrina, Katharina, sorry, was one year as one year old. The day she turned ten, remembered her sister with sorrow. Had she lived another tomorrow? So yeah, they would. She, it would be one because if Valentina is one year older than Katharina. Then when Valentina is 10, then Katharina would be 9, and that means that Valentina would be one year Katharina's elder. So one? Hmm, it's not as if you're correct or anything, Baka. Here's the next riddle. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. I'm actually going to write five, five baked dishes down pretty boxes and ribbons to while she was away a robber had come and eaten two of them robber minus two dog minus one no minus one she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred how many dishes were saved on that dreadful day so that's just five minus three which is two Be careful now, little girl. What? How many did she bake again? She baked five. Five baked dishes. She baked five dishes. And a robber ate two of her baked dishes, and a dog ate another of her baked dishes. I should actually be writing the down the riddle so that I can easily get back to where I was. Um, hmm. I may just have to end up dying. Too bad, so you win another life. Yeah, I may have to just end up dying. And trial and error may even end up being the thing that I have to use. But I will try and solve the riddles, but I'm sure the answer would be three. No, two. Because... What if I just saved after the riddles? That would make a lot more sense. Yeah. It's minus three, isn't it? So if I save after that, then I won't have to do all those riddles again. I'll ask the ringmaster because... Oh, I just... How many did she bake again? What kind of fancy dishes did she bake, I wonder? Wait. So is he implying that... Oh wait, I'll listen to the riddle again. To buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Well, you can box really any baked dish and tie a ribbon around it. It makes me think of cakes maybe, or maybe cupcakes? Even if it was cupcakes, there's no way of knowing how many she baked, so that doesn't work. How, and how many were in the dish, so that doesn't really work. Stray dog who ate another one. Yeah, that's... How many dishes were saved, maybe? I'll try three? I'll, I'll look at the walkthrough again, because I could have sworn... So the walkthrough I've got says five, but... That doesn't work, because... Why is that the right answer? Why is that the right answer? You'll have to tell me why that's the right answer, because I have no idea. Bingo! Here's the next riddle! Two books rest on a shelf, one is upside down and the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? One is upside down and the other is backwards. 
What is the sum of the first page in each book? I think the first part is a red herring, wouldn't it be two? Small girl, big brains. Here's the next riddle. On a dreadful night illuminated by a bright moon, our love flourished like a flower in bloom. With a poisonous kiss on a waning crescent, D did I take your essence in necrophagous ravishment? I, I went to a riddle school. I know all about making riddles. Intellectually. I watch Rick and Morty. Bathed in the following darkness, I did dig your grave, putting you to rest in final farewell. Your body I did crave. That's creepy as hell. On a waxing moon, I had my punishment. Between heaven and hell, I did dwell in confinement. Going to save. Because... I can. Um... I don't even know if that there was a riddle there. I'm just gonna look at the walkthrough. Apparently it's four. I'll look at it again and see if I can figure it out. No, it's two. The box is two. Dreadful night, bright full moon, I love flourish like a flower and broom. Bloom. Oh, wait. So it all talks about four stages of the moon. So... Correct, here's the final riddle, I guess. I'm assuming something something. I am all powerful and mighty. Going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted halls will stand. But for not, my little girl have me in hand. For a gentle touch I can undo. The restraints cast it upon you. A key. Good job, miss. You are one truly smart little girl. As promised, here is your award. Thank you, mister, but where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. Good job. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. Here's a little hint for future. Be kind and caring, for your opponents will tend to be rather dare daring. Thank goodness. I don't want to talk to them again. Miss? What do you want? Yeah. I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? No. No, I don't want to die, because I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to ask me a riddle that has no answer. And, because he said... Because that's actually something. All the riddles have answers, but the ringmaster warned me that there was one riddle that did that had no answer. And I'm thinking that that's probably the riddle he was about to ask me, so it's best if I just decline. So, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Pocket Mirror. So, come back next time, where we will learn the secret of the key that was given to us by a clown and a jack-in-the-box who found it on the floor the other day. <laughs> yeah. This game is insane. And I love it. See ya.